Pichu here bringing you highlights from the Corona Mexico 200 from Ovalo Juarez in Juarez, Mexico for the Pokemon X series. It is the first ever race here on this track. It is a very unique track. It has really slanted turns. It is really banked and it's, a, and it's like tens of thousands of miles above sea level. So there's a added challenge of that too. So these guys will face off against a very tough oval in Mexico. As we're about to get the green flag here, John Gilbert starts on the pole for today's race and the green flag waves in the first ever race in Ovalo Juarez. There you see the track layout um, of Ovalo Juarez as um, it is really slanted and really, really odd turns. They're, the turns are really very odd and very tight. So. It is a challenging oval that these guys will have to go through today, but Joey Trickle, he pass, he makes the pass with Breeze, and he just made it look easy. He just got the lead away on the first lap of the race, while some of the other cars got into the wall. There's Johnny Gardner in the third place as he makes the pass on Andrew Johnson, and Gardner has been on fire as of late with three wins already here in the X Series. There's Josh Emdev in the 33 in the ride that used was used to be driven by Dexter Black who won the title last season. Of course, Dexter Black will be in the Cup Series race here in Ovalo Juarez later. Logan Bradley right behind him in 11. There's Robert Smith in the double zero car making a pass on Ryan Pritchard. Ooh, Pritchard got real loose there. Keon Vargas almost tried to pass him. And Vargas was it was wasn't able to make the pass. And there you see the battle for second place. Johnny Gardner has just moved up over the five car. And he takes second away. And there's a three-wide battle with Leo Walker, John Gilbert, and one other car, Logan Bradley. And now Nick Salmon is going to join in on the fun. And Leo Walker clears. And now Nick Salmon, though, going to battle with John Gilbert, the pole setter, for the position right here. And there's Ben Goldman. Oh, man, Bradley and Salmon make contact. But able to continue the race and my goodness this track is really really tight and you can expect to see a lot of close calls like that here today in this weekend I should say anyway Keon Vargas battling with uh, James Stabilito who won our last race at mid Ohio as Stabilito trying to continue his momentum as he finally got a win to get himself in the playoffs Josh Amdev something's wrong with the 33 really slow on the track and he blows up the 33 blows up and he spins. Stabilito and Bradley make contact and Josh Emdev hits another car. I think that's Johnson and the yellow had to come out. Tough break for Josh Emdev running in the top five only to see his engine go down on him at the very uh, on the very end of the race. But now on the restart, Nick Salmon takes third place with five laps to go. And Gardner is trying to close in on Joey Trickle. Nobody's been stopping the 39 all day today. Ever since he took the lead on lap one, he has just been away dominating this entire race. And there's Alex Hawkins going to go down low against Liam Walker. Nearly bumper to bumper, but the 48 is able to get the position away. That's for fourth place. So now Hawkins is trying to move up into a good top five finish. And so is Robert Smith. Robert Smith wants to pass Leia. And he's going to do just that with just four, with just three laps to go. And there's Steve Larker and the five car also following as well. And Johnny Garner trying to close in on the 39 of Joey Trickle, trying to score his fourth win of the season, while Joey Trickle's trying to win in his, his second win. Both are obviously locked into the playoffs, but one of them is trying to win another race here this season. Trickle won in the 93. He never won in the Lombard Bros car, but he could do he could do that today if he can hold on over Johnny Garner in the next lap and a half. There you see Johnny Garner trying everything he can to catch the 39, but the 39 seems to be better on the corners. Coming to the white flag with one lap to go for Joey Trickle. Can he hold on over Johnny Gardner? There it is, last lap. Lombard Bros Gaming looking to win in their 39 car for the first time this season and it would come in Mexico. Down the final two turns and Joey Trickle is going to make the Lombard Bros proud. They're going to be happy that their car finally has a win this season. They'll come off the final turn. Joey Trickle will win in Mexico for his second win of the season in Ovalo Juarez. So Lombard Bros Gaming, congrats on winning the race um, for the first time this season. 
And it's the second win for Joey Trickle this season. He won the 93 car earlier at Auto Club in the Lombard 300. But now Joey Trickle wins legitimately in the Lombard Bros Gaming car. And I'm sure they'll be very happy with the result here today. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this race. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for new races every day. And we'll see you guys in the cup race here in Mexico.